Hi guys, in this video you'll see how the actors of the movie The Last of the Mohicans 1992 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Alice Monroe is one of Edmund's daughters and Cora's sister. She doesn't know how to stand firm in stressful situations and relies entirely on the help of others. Not able to hurt anyone, especially physically, but can try to fight back. Played by Jody May. Cora Monroe, Madeleine Stowe, is related to Alice and shown a romantic interest in Hawkeye. She is balanced, able to think soberly, and is not used to hovering in the clouds. Knows how to support and take care of others, and is also not inclined to idealize people. Ankas is the sole heir of Chingachgook and also is a good friend of Hawkeye. He's iconic, tries to keep his promise and doesn't change his principles. He tries to act according to his conscience and be one with nature. The role is performed by Eric Schweig. Duncan Hayward was respected by General Monroe and took a romantic interest in one of his daughters. Able to show courage, has a good tactical thinking, can show understanding and make self-sacrifice in order to save others. Played by Steven Weddington. Chingish Gook is a blood relative of Ankast, who deeply respected their Mohican identity. He can show concentration, be polite to others and reasonable. Doesn't let his emotions take over. Played by Russell Means, who died of esophageal cancer in 2012. Magua, West Study, is fundamentally different in nature from Ankast. He has a deceitful, malicious nature and is able to pretend separately in order to achieve his goals. He doesn't differ in mercy and, if necessary, will show extreme cruelty to any living creature. Colonel Edmund Munro is part of the British Army and runs one of the forts. Warmly treats his daughters, but is a tough person who doesn't compromise and is difficult to convince. Played by Maurice Roos, who died in 2020 after a short battle with illness. General Montcalm is Monroe's rival, and it was he who initiated the capture of Fort Henry. He is able to calculate different scenarios and doesn't neglect to ask for help. He is able to be noble. Played by Patrice Chero who died of lung cancer in 2013. Rich merchant Tom McGowan is one of the representatives of the British military authorities who prefers luxurious dinners and society with people like himself. He is somewhat imposing and wants to understand him perfectly and fulfill his request immediately. Ongevas Gowan was a weighty influence on the Iraqi tribe. Coverdice is not on his list of qualities, and for him reputation has more value than life. Is not afraid of hardship. Played by Dennis J. Banks. John Cameron, Terry Kinney, is married to Alexandra and has a good relationship with Chingishgook. He's purposeful, not afraid to try something new, but still doesn't lose his vigilance and tries to act in any situation with a mind without neglecting safety. Martin stood up for Monroe's daughters and tried to confront the Indians. He would feel inferior as a man if he let the girl in trouble and is ready to confront the abusers, even if somewhat inferior is strength and dexterity. He was played by Sebastian Roche. Abenaki chief Gregory Zaragoza knows how to keep his emotions under control and is able to show his authority among his fellow tribesmen with just his appearance. Knows how to find compromises in intractable cases and doesn't show haste. He's not selfish. Captain Beams is in one of the units of the British Army. He not only leads people, but himself has a good training, but doesn't have the same first-class reaction as the Indians. Played by Pete Postlethwaite, who died in 2011 from pancreatic cancer. 
Major Ambrose is loyal to his men, trying not to let his guard down and showing by example not to give up. He tends to trust people who cooperate with British military bosses, which makes him relaxed and can let his guard down. The role is played by Calm Mimi. British lieutenant Jared Harris represented the interests of his state and traveled to different settlements trying to convince people to join the fight against a common enemy, the French. He knows how to present himself and says with people confidently. Phelps doesn't tend to be shy and is able to preserve it in pursuit of his goals. He can be curious at some points, but not intrusive, doesn't seek to tell others what to do and himself is distinguished by good diligence. The role is played by Malcolm Story. General Webb, Mac Andrews, was Monroe's direct supervisor and handled the distribution of newly arrived majors. He can speak convincingly, tries to negotiate, although he cannot always adhere to his own agreements. Doesn't like when uncomfortable questions are asked. He am, Tim Hopper, is well acquainted with Winthrop with whom he had similar views and aspired to join the ranks of the British Army. It's important for him to keep his family safe and protect them if necessary. He is quite brave and strives to defend his rights. Jack Winthrop, Edward Blatchford, was well acquainted with the Cameron family as well as the Hawkeye. He's proactive, not lazy and able to be quite persuasive. Jack took the side of the British Army and tried to actively agitate people to join its ranks. Alexandra Cameron is John's sweetheart. She always manifests herself as a hospitable hostess who knows how to keep up the conversation or even joke, but prefers not to get into some men's conversations no matter how much she likes them. Hawkeye Daniel Day Lewis is a supporter of Chingachgook. He is distinguished by speed and amazing reaction, is not devoid of mercy and knows how to analyze. He strives to always defend his position and convince others of its correctness. He is the man of the word. James Cameron, Justin M. Rice, is one of Alexandra's children. He is of an inquisitive nature and is always excited and literally doesn't get off his hands when guests arrive, especially Chingish Gook and his friends. He is good-natured and childishly naive. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.